Well, I wanted to talk about uh, my first experience with aliens. Uh, basically, it happened approximately... Yeah, so it happened about 32 years ago. I was a lot younger, and uh, I happened to be staying at my sister's house um, overnight there. Um, and two of my sisters, my two of my sisters were there, and the one that owned the house, she has three children, uh, one girl and two boys. And uh, basically what happened that night was everything was normal. Um, everybody decided to go to bed. Uh, I was sleeping on the couch. And then the, on the other couch, my other sister that happened to be spending a the night there, she was sleeping on the other end of the couch. And uh, it was dark. All the lights were off. The only lights that you could see was, was the street lights that were coming in from the living room window. So I was as I was trying to go to sleep, everybody was obviously passed out already. And uh I had this eerie feeling that I was being watched. So I kind of turned my head towards the um front door which which had a little tiny 8 foot walkway in and you couldn't quite see the door and uh, where I was laying. And I seen a silhouette of a small person. At least I thought it was a small person. Approximately four feet tall. Standing there. I couldn't see their facial features. All I could see was their outline. And at that moment, the fear over me struck me like it was like, boom. Like, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? Right? There's somebody standing there. So I sit up really fast. And the first thing I was going to do is I was going to wake up my sister that was laying on the other couch. She was right there. And I was thinking, oh, I'm going to see what this is. And the next thing I know, my whole body calms down and I start laying back down on the couch. And in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, why am I laying back down on the couch? What the hell is going on? It's like I didn't have control over what I was doing. I laid back down, closed my eyes, heard a loud buzzing in my head, and then I was out like a light. And that's not where it stopped. Basically, I started dreaming. Or at least I think it was a dream. And it seemed to be like I was I was awake in my sister's house, yet I was dreaming. And uh, there was these little men. They didn't look like gray aliens with the big eyes. They just looked very odd. Like they had a weird color to them. Kind of grayish. And uh, they were walking around the house. And I was standing in the hallway. Between the living room and the kitchen. And I was watched one of them walk down. One of the rooms that goes to the basement. And I was kind of like. What the hell are you guys doing? And then one of them pointed me, like pointed to the kitchen, and I walked to the kitchen, and it pointed out the back sliding doors. And they were glass doors, so you could see kind of like outside, and it was dark. And as I looked outside, I seen this black silhouette of, I guess, their ship in the backyard. And that's it. That's all I remember. I wake up and I'm thinking to myself, whoa, that was one hell of a dream. Did all this really happen? Like, what the hell? This was really messed up. So I uh, get up. Everybody's getting up. The kids, she has, uh, her kids are getting up for school. 
And then my sister that stayed the night, she had her daughter there as well. And uh, I had to drive her and, and her daughter to school, like to take her daughter to school. And as we were driving, I was thinking to myself, I'm going to ask her daughter a question. So I asked her daughter, I said, hey, did you have any weird dreams last night? And she's like seven years old at the time. And she starts talking to me and her mom. And she says, I remember I was holding a little alien baby. And I looked over at her. I'm like, okay, that's pretty messed up. I said, do you remember anything else? No, no, I just had a little alien baby and I was holding on to it. And I'm like, oh shit, okay, that's messed up. So then we drop her off at school. We go back to my other sister's home and we go have coffee. It's, still, you know, it's around nine o'clock in the morning. <coughs> and uh, so I proceed to talk to my other sister and I asked her, I said, well, you have any weird dreams last night? Because I experienced some really weird things in the house last night. And she looks at me and she goes, yeah. She goes, I dreamt that there was these little men, little gray guys. She described them more gray. And she said they had her son, her middle age, uh, middle son. And uh, she said she was arguing with him. And they had shoved something into his left knee. And he was in a lot of pain. And she was screaming at them. And they held her back. And uh, that's all she remembers. Then I'm just like, holy shit, there's too many weird things going on here. Too many coincidences. So then I told her what I experienced. And then we told her about my other sister's daughter, what she experienced. And we were all like, maybe something really weird did happen. So then we, at the end of the day, I happened to, sp I spent the day with my sister at her home. And uh, finally her son got home from school. And uh, so we decided we were going to ask him. But instead, my, my, my sister went right over to him and said, can I look at your knee? And so he said, yeah, sure, you can look at my knee. So she went down and she started feeling his, his knee. And she hit a spot and he's like yelped like really loud. And he goes, what the hell did you do? Now my leg hurts. It's really, really bad and inside my knee. And uh, we examined it. And we didn't really see any markings on his leg or nothing. But he was in a lot of pain after she touched him and pushed on his knee inside and outside and uh so we were like okay something happened something definitely happened um some weird shit some weird shit went on that night and so that was like i think my first experience with an actual contact i think with aliens and over the years, I thought to myself, well, why the kids? Why my sister? Why Why are they showing up? And so what I put together was I found out that, was, uh, that my sister's husband, uh, a lot of weird things happened to him, but he never really talked about it. Uh, basically... The stories that he told, he's got a lot of missing time experiences, him and his brother. And so I was thinking, well, I never had experiences with aliens when I was a kid or no memory of any. It didn't start happening until um, we met their family, which is my sister's husband's family. So I assumed that this was uh, something that follows certain families but it wasn't in mine it was in theirs uh so <laughs> over, and then i realized another thing which I, I found was really odd and uh i came across different groups talking about it years ago and uh found out some weird things about 
abductions and stuff, and uh, also what happens to my sister's husband years ago. He um, he was one of those people that uh, when he drank alcohol, he had a split personality. And when he wasn't drinking, he was fine. You know, he was the nicest guy you could ever meet. Then it was like he had a few drinks, and then all of a sudden there was like a switch. It was like from Dr. Jekyll to Mr. Hyde. He became very nasty, um, said lots of wor really horrible things, and uh, just was a really not a very nice person when he drank alcohol at all. Both him and his brother were like that somewhat. He was a little worse. And one of the things I found out when I was looking into the interdimensional beings and the aliens and stuff was that... Uh, some of these families and some of these people that have these alien implants in them, um, when they're on drugs or if they have al alcohol in the system, it opens up, opens them up. These alien implants that these people have in them that have been abducted lets these interdimensional beings kind of like tempor temporarily be in control of that person and that's why you have the different switch of personalities and it was it made total sense to me just because it just seemed to fit like uh, it fits with other people that I met and uh, other things that I've experienced so now another thing that I was thinking about is if they use these implants to be able to you know, get inside somebody when they're on drugs or drinking or something. I was thinking, what kind of implants are in people now? And this fits to that, um, when I talked about interdimensional beings and what are they going to do to some of these people in the future? Just some of my crazy thoughts. <laughs> 